The Kitchener-Waterloo real estate market slowly continues to slow down as we transition into the summer from our crazy spring market. However, prices have remained fairly flat and days on market have slowly started to creep up from 10 in March to 13 in June. We are seeing 82% of the houses that sell are selling above their asking price. However, this doesn't take into consideration the houses that don't sell. When we take those into consideration, it's about actually 70% of the homes are selling quickly and going to multiple offers selling above their asking price, where the remaining 30 are either taking a bit longer and selling below their asking price, or some of them aren't selling at all. For the houses that are selling, they're selling on average for 12% above their list price. Something that we are starting to notice is we're seeing a bigger gap between the average sale price for detached houses in Kitchener versus Waterloo. In Waterloo, detached houses are continuing to rise with an average sale price of just about a million dollars. Where in Kitchener, we're seeing the average sale price for detached houses drop and it's dropped to about $828,000. Months of inventory have remained steady month over month at just over a half a month of supply. And that's because both our number of sales and active listings dropped by 15%. So overall, we are seeing less market activity, but that is pretty typical as we transition from spring into the summer market. Overall, our market remains very hot and this is an excellent time to sell your house in Kitchener Waterloo. You may want to actually take advantage of the low inventory that we're going to have over the summer months, which will mean less competition for you when selling your house. For buyers, this is still a very difficult market, but we are starting to notice that there are some opportunities where you can buy a house without getting into a crazy bidding war, which those just didn't exist earlier this year. If buyer demand continues to decline, then we could start to see prices drop. However, I believe that the reduced supply is going to prevent any large drop in prices. If you have any questions about the Kitchener-Waterloo real estate market, please reach out to us at the Go Wild team. Thanks.